Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay. This is going to be a collective general reading for Earth signs at the end of September 2019. Hello, Taurus. Hello, Virgo. And hello, Capricorn. How are you all doing? I hope you guys are doing well. All right, guys. Well, right off the bat, new location. What's going on? <laughs> uh, uh, in case uh, some of you may or may not know, uh, I'm currently on vacation. I'm visiting my sister who lives a few states over from me. So we're having a fabulous time together, but she's not here right now. So <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm visiting my sister. So that, that explains the new location, what you're seeing here. You know, you normally you're on this side of me over here on the, on the left-hand side, but you're on the right-hand side today. So that's kind of it's, it's, it's taken some getting used to, if I'm honest. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so I hope everything's going well in your lives. Uh, the explanation on what I'm doing here. It's a collective reading because normally, as you guys know, I do mids for all of the months. But uh, a girl had a short, va <laughs> short vacation, a short stay in the hospital a couple of weeks ago. And then that kind of like screwed up my schedule and I was like recouping and so and then I was going directly into vacation and then I had to work overtime at my job and blah 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 so I just did not have the time to do individual mid months so we're doing elemental collective messages you guys are going to share earth signs you guys are going to share these three cards I'm going to read those first giving a general overview for what the collective might be uh, dealing with and then we're going to do two clarifying cards for each sign so Taurus Virgo Capricorn timestamps will be in the description box below if you want to jump ahead also down there is all the information you guys need. If you want to get a personal reading from me, you kind of already know that if you've been with me for a while. But if you're new here, I guess I should explain it just the same, right? Uh, <laughs> so if you uh, have any questions before you place an actual order with me, feel free to email me at the exact same address. If you guys have questions about my YouTube channel, I don't think it works that well, but I'm encouraged. I don't know why my guides are encouraging me to tell you to like direct message me here on YouTube. I don't know that it works. I don't even think it works, but they want me to keep telling you guys that. And I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to say it. So anyway, <laughs> that's that. Let's go ahead and read the collective energy. And then we're going to do, like I said, the individual readings as it ties into the collective of the three cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip the one card that came face down. Oh, isn't that lovely? Isn't that sexy? It's not. <laughs> but let's get into it, Earth Signs, okay? All right, guys, so your first card out, you have the Ten of Wands. Ten, and I think I think it's here that I'm good, because I my setup is different, so I can't really see what I'm doing here. Uh, but I think I'm in frame, and I think I'm all right. Now, Ten of Wands. Hey, you guys are tired. <laughs> and, and, and a little bit confused, or a little bit, you know, like garbled energy, like confused energy. Like, look at this woman. She's got every broom mop and and rake that you can have under the sun right and it's just like too much to handle so a lot of you are experiencing fatigue either of your physical body or since this is wands your spiritual body you've given a lot into a situation it's taken a lot of your internal energy a lot of your fire like, how can I describe this? Like, if you're familiar with chakras, this is like a lot of your solar plexus energy is tapped out. Tapped out. And that's confirmed because look at the dress on the woman. She's got a yellow dress on, yeah? Yellow is associated with the solar plexus. Um, if, if that doesn't mean much to you, it just feels like it's not your heart and it's not your mind. It's really your spirit, your will. Your There you go, your will, your determination the the actual give a shit about a situation is like to the to the limit with you earth signs right now um it can go in many ways this could be about relationships family friends lovers otherwise in your life this can be about your work this can be about something personal to you maybe you've tried to change something in your life you've tried to make something work for yourself personally and it's just like i feel many of you have hit roadblock after roadblock or detour after detour. Like if you're tr planning a trip and you know, I drove down here and I didn't have this experience, but God help me if this 10 hour drive turned into like a 13 hour drive, it's like that. It's like something that you expected to work out in a timely fashion or at a certain juncture in your life has just not happened for whatever reason. In, and again, in whatever realm we're talking about, it could be relationships, it could be your job, it could be anything. But you had a game plan. 
And maybe you still have this game plan, but it's just fucked up right now. Something is, is throwing a monkey wrench in your plans, and that really irks you. And if it doesn't irk you, it just tires you out. It frustrates you, and you're heavily burdened by this. You know, if you really wanted to do what I'm assuming this woman wants to do with her little apron and everything to clean the house, it makes no sense to pull out all those apparatuses at the same time, trying to use them at the same time. That's not a, that's not a really good way to approach that, Mary. So, but for some reason, Earth signs, you guys have really put your all into something. As, as an Earth sign would do, you know, you guys are definitely, I, I have a plan and I'm going to stick to my plan. I'm going to do it. But it's not, it's not pay, it's not paying out or it's not, it's not paying out and it's not paving or the pathway is not paved, paved the way you want it to be. There's more bumps in the road than you care to, than you care to admit or that you care to experience. That's interesting. Than you care to admit. Okay. Some of you are in a denial process of how hard this is, or you're denying that you should give up because the 10 of wands any 10 in the tarot guys is speaking to a culmination point speaking to something needs to change something needs to end something needs to roll over here whether that means you roll over and give it up or someone else rolls over and gives it up or something in the dynamic between you and another person or the dynamic in a situation just freaking moves out of the way but some of you deny that that is necessary or an option and you're being stubborn. Some of you, not all of you. Some of you are like, get this load off of me. Get this burden off of me. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Others of, you are, others of you are like, it's not that bad. I can take some more. And it's just like, either way you cut it, the frustration remains and the, and the agitation and the draining of your energy remains. God, <sighs> let's go ahead and be done with that. Because energetically, I don't like it. It's not pleasant to experience everything that I was just talking about. Now, moving on. Your second card in the collective energy is the Page of Pentacles, Earth sign energy. So your own energy, guys, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Page, maybe it's a child in your life. Maybe you're frustrated with your child. Maybe, as you can see, this little almost Dennis the Menace character pulling these freaking plates down off of the shelf getting ready to make a mess of everything. So maybe some of you have an overactive child, a hyper child, um, a child with behavioral issues or uh, com complications. Okay, that's not really what I wanted to say, but behavioral issues, behavioral complications for some reason, or just something with their attitude, something with controlling them, which is interesting because the Page of Pentacles traditionally is not a troublemaker. You know, this uh, of of all the pages, this this page is usually the most calm, the most focused, the most studious, and the most accomplished in terms of setting a goal and actually obtaining and or attaining the exact goal this this uh, page set out to do. So it could be uncharacter and oh God, I can't even talk uncharacteristically your child or someone in your life. It doesn't have to be a child, but someone is uncharacteristically behaving badly. Stepping out of line, talking out of turn, being mischievous, being a troublemaker, a little hellion, if we're talking about a child still. Because I, you know, it's not gonna resonate for all of you. Not all of you have children or are dealing with children specifically. But there is this feeling of making a stir and it's not what you expect from this person. If it's not a child, they might be younger than you. Yeah, by a few years, something like that. Like I'm feeling like a three or a four year difference in age, <sighs> which is weird because I don't normally talk about ages and time and stuff in my readings, but they're like three, four, three, four. Okay, three, four. So maybe this person is younger than you by that much. <sighs> maybe you've known them that long and out of the three, four years, they've never behaved this way. Why? Because this is a burden. This person directly is a burden to you right now. Maybe not always, 
But what's transpiring between the two of you gives you that Ten of Wands, is sapping your energy, is really making things difficult for you, Earth Signs. Why is this person doing that? Because they know they're doing it. Okay, damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at how my guides, my gods, my gods, my guides responded to that question because they know they're doing it. A lot of them, okay, thank you. That's what, that's where the Page of Pentacles comes in. Because the Page of Pentacles is very sensible. The Page of Pentacles is very aware of themselves, has almost too much self-awareness, okay? So whoever this is, your child, a younger person, could be, you know, someone who's older than you, but they're acting in an immature way. It doesn't really matter. But whoever this person is to you guys, Earth signs, this person knows they're causing trouble for you. They know that their behaviors, they know that the things that they're saying, they know that the things that they are getting involved in is really irksome to you, is really tiresome to you, is really making things difficult between you. This person, much like the kid, I mean, look at his face. He's looking directly at the viewer, willingly pulling these plates down from the shelf, hauling them to the floor, throwing them to the floor. This person smartly okay smartly is pushing your buttons I don't know what the hell you're supposed to do with that because all the pages have a have a goal in mind and this page of Pentacles is playing the long game I'll tell you that this page of Pentacles is playing the long game now I don't want to say manipulation because I don't think it's about straight-up manipulation Ah, this is like a situation where this person wants you to be mad at them so that you will leave them alone or you'll give up on them or you will walk away from them, which is what the Ten of Wands normally indicates that someone is preparing to do. I'm preparing to lay the burden down. But like I said, some of you in the collective are like, I can take it. I can hold on much longer. And this Page of Pentacles is like, all right, here comes another plate. And they just keep doing shit to push you away. What you're supposed to do with that, I don't really know. Your final card in the collective Earth Signs is the Tower. Oy, uh, major Arcana, secondary Major Arcana for Aries? Let me check my math on that. That's correct. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Aries. So some of you might be dealing with an Aries, but you don't have to be. Listen, Tower card, big upsets. Hmm? Big upsets. Big changes. Let me get a drink here. Things really going topsy-turvy in your life. And you're probably not excited about it. Whether this has happened or will happen or is happening now, I don't know. But when the tower comes in a tarot reading, it's necessary. It's a major arcana. So it's, 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 it's got a universal guidance behind it or, you know... And it's nasty. Like when I see this this tarot, or excuse me, this tower card in this particular deck, I hate it. Look at that dress. Look at that cake. Whatever the fuck that is, it's disgusting to even look at. So a lot of you are dealing with people or situations that are nasty, that are not easy to digest, quote unquote, because it's a cake, right? And I again, look at that shit. I don't. Who would eat that? Who would take a slice of that willingly and shove it down their throat? Ridiculous. So it's really nasty, this whole situation. But often also when I get this card, I also look at the face of the woman on top of the cake. She looks delighted. So this is for that group in the Earth Sign Collective that is just like sticking to their guns. Standing by their man, standing by their child. And not to say that you shouldn't do those things, but there's something that you're being really hard-headed about and optimistic when maybe you don't, you shouldn't be optimistic because someone on either side of these two very tumultuous energies, the Ten of Wands and the Tower, you have someone in the middle who's just like pushing buttons. They want to see this whole situation or you dis disabled, thrown off your game. Push to your limits. I don't, again, I don't want to say manipulation because I don't think that 
it's a secret. You know, my whole thing with manipulation is it's, 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 it's from an unknown, it's unsuspecting. This person is plain as day. There's no hiding what they're doing. Manipulation to me requires some type of hiding or secrecy or like two-faced energy. This person has one face and they're showing it to you. Hmm. So let's go ahead and get into your individual <laughs> clarifying energies, which again, will tie into the three that we've already discussed. So again, we're going to go in order of the Zodiac Wheel. So it's going to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So let's see what we get for you guys, okay? Let me see two cards for Taurus, please. I want to see two cards for Taurus. Do I need a bridge? I need a bridge. Thank you. Hmm. One more. One more. Thank you. Whoa, almost dropped the deck. One more. Right. Two for Taurus, please. Show me two for Taurus. One. Two for Taurus, please. Or one more for Taurus. Excuse me, one more. Okay. Give me two for Virgo, please. Two for Virgo. One more for Virgo, please. Stop. 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 Good. Thank you. And two for Capricorn, please. One more for Capricorn, please. There it goes. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right, guys, I think I'm in frame. If I'm not, I apologize, but I think I am. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. All right, so Taurus, you have the Strength card and the Seven of Pentacles. Strength card, some of you, or Major Arcana for Leo, so some of you might be dealing with a Leo, but you don't have to be. Listen, Taurus, <laughs> you're needing to be strong here, but I'm not sure that it's necessarily the best route to take because I feel what this is, you know, related to your fellow fixed sign Leo. I think that some of you might be in that group of the stubborn holding on resisting group because strength is about willpower. Strength is about all that gumption and give a care and effort and drive that you pull out from the depths of your own uh, body from your own existence yeah so when your body is weary the strength kicks in your spirit kicks in and says we got a little more it's that moment in the rocky movies where where what rocky's face down on the mat he's face down in the boxing ring and then he looks out and he sees adrian and all of a sudden he gets up and he can punch the shit out of Dolph Lundgren he can just like knock that guy right out now you know what i mean it's like that last ditch not last ditch effort, I'm sorry, but like that last drop of <sighs> really push to your limits here, Taurus. Maybe you're pushed to the to the brink of something. Cause I really feel now now I'm getting like the other group of Taurians who are just like you know what, maybe I should give it up. Some of you are like, no, I'm not going to give it up and I'll never give it up. And that's fine. That's, that's what you, what you, that's what you want to do. That's what you can do. There's another group that's just like, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I actually should throw in the towel this time. Maybe I should actually give this up and stop whatever you're, whatever you've been doing. Yeah. Because as much as the strength card can be about pushing through and perseverance. The strength card also is a smart energy when it's in its high vibration. When I, And I say it, I mean like the energy that is embodied by the strength card. There is an, a, a knowing, knowing when enough is enough, knowing when your limits have been pressed upon and exceeded beyond. And I said that earlier, I believe. I, I, at least I was hoping I was getting that across with the Ten of Wands. A lot of you, your limits have been exceeded with a person or exceeded in a situation. 
but you persist. This other part of Taurus, it could be you're going back and forth in your own mind or there's just like another subset within this group that says, you know what, my limits have been crossed and I've had enough. And the strength card sometimes is having the strength to walk away, to release, to not fight anymore. Think about it. Traditionally, what is on the strength card in the Rider Waite deck or other traditional decks is a lion. Usually a male lion. If you know anything about, you know, if you've watched any Nat, <laughs> Nat Geo documentaries on lions, or if you took a class or wrote a paper on it, you know that the male lion rarely fights, rarely gets involved in the hunting, rarely gets up off its ass to do anything. Not calling you lazy, Taurus. That's not the point of this. The point is the depiction normally on the strength card is a male lion, big mane, right? And that leader of the pride becomes the leader because of discernment. If he was out on every hunting expedition with the lionesses, he'd be tired, he'd be bruised, he'd be battered. If he actually fought every other male in the pride for his top place, like actually had to have a knockdown drag out fight, he would be bruised and battered. So True strength is to know when to not be involved, to not feed into a situation. Hmm? Second card out for you guys is the Seven of Pentacles. <sighs> so evaluation, basically everything that we've talked about. What are you going to do, Taurus? Are you going to keep giving into the situation or are you going to cut it off? Now, again, if this is a person, especially if it's your child... I'm not sitting here suggesting being an anonymous person on the internet telling you to cut off your child. No way. I, I am in no capacity to tell you to do that. But sometimes that's what the Seven of Pentacles says. And and there are different degrees in cutting off. You know what I mean? Because like how this woman is walking a garden path. Sometimes you can salvage a plant, right? You don't have to throw it all away. You trim here. You do a little weeding here. You do a little insecticide here and then you replant it over there and then it can flourish again. So maybe not cut off completely, but certainly augment or amend a situation, make certain changes, make certain stipulations in a situation and see where we go from there. If we're not talking about cutting someone off or completely ditching a situation, right? Regardless, in tandem, I feel, again, in combination with everything that's down here, the Ten of Wands and the Tower, most of you probably would benefit from either leaving the situation completely or, you know, if you can, annexing yourself from the person completely or just getting some type of change enacted in the situation. To continue as business as usual, Taurus, I don't think that's a smart idea. Because the pressure on either side is screaming stop this don't do it this way anymore it can't sustain itself this way the situation the relationship whatever it cannot be sustained this way but some of you are being really stubborn and you think it's fine the way it is and i mm, i would disagree but you can do whatever you like moving on let's go on to virgo now virgo your first card out is the king of swords and the world Ooh. I think I'm in frame. Let's hope I am. All right, guys. So, King of Swords. Some of you might be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But you don't have to be. And the world. Let's see. Some of you, this is like a daddy issue. King of Swords. You know. Manning the grill, right? Shish, shish kebabs for days, right? Somebody in control, somebody in a position of leadership. Could be you. Again, I just say air sign energy, so it doesn't mean that, whenever I say that, just for those who might be new here, when I say that, it doesn't mean you are exactly dealing with someone who is an air sign. This is just the energy that is persistent in your situation. So energetically, this could be you, Virgo. Putting yourself in a position of leadership or just finding yourself in a position of leadership and finding that to be incredibly frustrating. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Because I'm like, yes. Because look at this guy. He's got a huge skewer 
right? He's going to mend that grill. He's got his apron on. He's got his crown on. But look at his face. Look at his face. He does not look happy to be there. He does not look like he wants to do this. So some of you are probably with air sign energy, king of swords energy, you're probably having to make a lot of tough calls, either in the home or at work. Could go either way. And you're essentially having to be the bad guy. And the king of swords isn't always the bad guy, but I feel like given the circumstances of what's going on in the communal three cards, you gotta, you gotta play the tough guy. You gotta be bad cop right now. And you don't wanna be that. Reluctantly, reluctantly taking on this role. Now, in some of your cases, we're talking about negotiations at, negotiations at work, maybe discipline at work. If you're I can't even remember what I said for your, because I just did your guys' live and I did your birthday reading and I can't remember anything I said. So I, I, but I feel like some of you might be, oh yeah, wait, I did say something about that. Like some of you might be offered a position at work and you don't want it, but you take it anyway or something like that. So I think that some of you in your work have stepped into a role that is a lot more demanding, more responsibility, more management maybe of other people and you cannot take it. <laughs> you're so over it. <laughs> Even if you just got into it, you're just like, this shit is not for me. And I think it's because for you, Virgo, not all, but many of you have this issue with control, perfectionism, things being a certain way, things having a, a place and a time and appropriateness, right? Now, if you're taking over a role in your job where you have to instruct other people or guide other people or manage other people, what did I say in the, in the communal three cards? That shit grates on your soul. It's tiring. Why? Because you have someone who is purposely acting up. This page of Pentacles is a thorn in your side. They know it, you know it, everybody knows it, or at least the two of you know it, if it's not everybody, at least you you, you and him see each other. Page of, page of Pentacles <laughs> and this King of Swords, you guys see each other, you guys recognize each other, yeah? He, know, he or she knows they're a pain in your ass and, the, and you know that they know that they're a pain in your ass. And it's ridiculous because you really don't want to be doing this. You really don't want to be in this leadership position. You really don't want to be the bad guy. You really don't want to have to tell this person over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, this is what you're supposed to do. This is how you do it. And they're like, okay. And then they fuck it up again. It's like, you have to repeat yourself with this person. And you know, I know, I know a Virgo too. And let me tell you, they don't like to repeat themselves. I mean, they will like repeat the same story. I'll tell you guys that. <laughs> Virgos will repeat the same story. But when it comes to getting a job done, to give instruction, to give guidance to a person, don't have a Virgo repeat themselves. It's really, mm, it really, it really upsets you guys. So in terms of work, you guys are really having to take up the helm of something and you don't want to. If it's not work, could be, yeah, because they're like, Look at the couch. And I mean, obviously this guy is, with with those clothes and that setup, this is not a barbecue at the job. It might be though, but for some of you, you might be experiencing that. But uh, the other side of this is like a domestic situation. So some of you Virgos, ah, some of you Virgos are having to really be the bad cop with your kid and you don't want to be. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Some of you are having to deliver bad news with this king of swords communication swords swords energy right some of you are having to deliver bad news to your child and they are acting out because of that news or the news you're de delivering to them is to do is correlated to their bad behavior it's not pleasant because it upsets the kid and it upsets you i'm I and that's like a very specific storyline. I'm not going to go into it because they could show me more, but I'm like, don't show me more. We need to move on. So your second card out of your clarifiers, Virgo, is the world card. 
major account of the world associated with the fixed sign. So Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and uh, Aquarius. Some of you might be dealing with a fixed sign, but you don't have to be. Also, it's ruled by Saturn. So uh, another uh, hit here for Capricorn. So you might be dealing with a Capricorn, but it's a general guy. So it doesn't mean anything. <sighs> If this is a work situation, you've done this because look at the cards that are like spilling out of that uh, index box or that card box there. It's like depictions of family. You got the house, you've got the baby carriage, you have the family on top of the world. What, what else do you have there? The, the suburban car, right? So a lot of you have taken on this responsibility at work to benefit your home life, to benefit your family. More money, better resume in the long run, more connections, whatever it is. So that could be why, Virgo, some of you are reluctant to let it go with that 10 of wands in the communal cards. You're, you're reluctant to let it go because this benefits your family or your family is dependent on you. Maybe the, maybe the benefit isn't even more pay. Maybe it's if I said no, they would have fired me. So I had to. It's like your back was against the wall. So you had to say yes. And now that you've said yes, your whole family's stability rides on you maintaining this job something like that and that that signals you know being that it's the world card that signals a chapter turn for you virgo where now that you've become a manager now that you've become a director at your job now that you've become this at your job now it's like a whole new ball game a whole new set of expectations befall you and it becomes burdensome. You know, it could be you work you work more hours. You could be a single parent working more hours, having to leave your kid at daycare or leave your kid with family members, and that upsets the kid. They're used to seeing you so much more and spending more time with you, but because now work is sort of taking up that space or taking your time away, now your kid acts up. And this might change a little bit of a dynamic between you and your child for possibly forever. And I don't want, I don't want that to sound like daunting, but that's kind of like what they're showing me there. What else is there? Because Virgo, you have a lot like, a, like the Virgo energy is very varied. So the other thing where some of you are having to be the bad guy in the house, like just, just be the parent that lays down the law with that King of Swords energy, right? You might be telling your kids, you might be telling your family, we have to move because the world card can indicate travel and that can be upsetting to, to children or even your, your, your spouse or whoever. We have to move. Why? Because of work. I don't want to move. Well, we have to. Here come the dishes being ripped down off of the, off of the, off of the shelf, right? I don't want to move. Dishes go flying everywhere, you know? So... No matter how you slice it, Virgo, no matter what your situation is, it's difficult. And it's not easy because I think you're in a you're in a lose-lose, if I'm honest. It feels like a lose-lose for you, uh, Virgo. Because unlike Taurus, where they have this ability to choose, I feel the choice has already been made. Or if not the choice has already ma been made, your hand is forced in a in a in a direction that you may not want to go changes and 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 behaviors and 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 actions and reactions are coming upon you that you did not anticipate and you don't even want to participate in it that king of swords is very reluctant i'm sorry moving on on to capricorn please capricorn your first card is the knight of pentacles your second card is the hanged man interesting Hangman, secondary major arcana for Pisces. So you might be dealing with a Pisces Capricorn, but you don't have to be. Knight of Pentacles, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, okay. So I feel for you, Capricorn, similar to what I was just saying to Virgo, I think you're reluctantly involved in something and you don't know how to get away from it. Because the Knight of Pentacles is about traveling. It's about movement, right? All the knights move. They're on horseback in the traditional rider weight deck or other traditional depictions, right? You see these guys suited up on their horses with their armor on, prepared to travel. The thing about the Knight of Pentacles is he travels the slowest, you know? He moves slowly. 
He never gets the horse whipped up into a full-on gallop. He's never racing across, you know, the, the, the grasslands or anything like that. He's, he's focused and he's slow and he's methodical. And I feel that could be you. If it's not you, it would be someone that you're dealing with, yeah? And again, Knight of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you might be dealing with another Earth Sign, but I feel it's mostly you. And what you're moving towards or moving away from has been burdensome with that Ten of Wands. And it's, it's hard for you to put it down. It's hard for you to let it go. It's hard for you to get a resolution. But you're trying with the Knight of Pentacles. You're trying. But it's slow to get going. It's slow to get progress. It's slow to see results. It's wise to do this. The, the, the Knight of Pentacles is wise because he goes slowly, but he, he his moves are smart because they are measured, because they are sort of anticipated like he's anticipating trouble because of everything he's dealing with here in that ten of wands and i'm saying he only because there's a knight on the card you could be a female and experience this okay so your situation wherever it is wherever it is i feel for many of you this is a home situation like this kid this knight of pentacles is like mowing a lawn you do that at home this woman on the hangman is hanging the laundry so this is like a very domestic situation for many of you If there is something about movement, I don't think it would be far movement. Meaning, if you want to change this situation, this Ten of Wands, if you want to give up this burden, if you want to stop being under pressure and feeling so stressed, the change you have to make is not far from home. Yeah? Or it's not too far off base of what you are already doing. Something like that. Oh, okay. Because now they're like interacting. They're giving me interaction between the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So for some of you where I said like this is like a child in your life or someone in your life that behaves badly, this could be offering your services, so to speak, to the Page of Pentacles, meaning... Instead of, quote unquote, Age of Pentacles, Capricorn, you're probably approaching them with a, how can we work on this issue versus you? So how does that translate into real life? So if this is a kid or whoever in your life, this Page of Pentacles, and they're, they're, they're quite a problem, you might suggest to them, Capricorn, let's do this together. Maybe not even under the context of in order to see you change. No, it, you're, you're being clever. If you offer to help this person, if you offer to find some kind of resolution or solution to a problem, you rope yourself into the blame, whether you actually mean it or not. I feel you don't, you know it's not you, you know it's them, but to placate them, to see them not fly off the handle, you're gonna say, let's together do this. Let's together seek help here. Even though you know, for the most part, you don't need much help. I mean, maybe you do because you're carrying a burden. Maybe. <laughs> um, but I feel you're in a different spot than the other two uh, earth signs. I don't feel you're as stubborn as the other two. And even then Taurus was more stubborn than Virgo. So anyway, so how does that translate into real life? Like if this is a kid and they have some kind of behavioral issue, they're acting up in school, they're not concentrating or they're not, they're disruptive, whatever. You might say, let's both go and see your school counselor. It's not you go see and you tell me what happened. It's like, let's go both and sit in the office with the counselor and have a discussion. You know what I mean? It's like, I want to show, thank you. If anything, you want to share the load with this person. Their problem is your problem. You don't want them to go at this by themselves. You're very concerned about this person going and doing something on their own and that further pushing them away from you or further upsetting them. And you don't want to see that happen. So you say, I'll go with you. 
I'll stand by you. We'll experience this together. That's interesting because then the tower, I don't know how the tower would fa factor into that because that sounds helpful. Ah, I'm now remembering your September reading. I think. <laughs> As I try and pull a hair off my hoodie, there we go. Um, I think I remember in your September reading that you were sharing a burden with someone and you didn't have to, like it was their issue. And I think I was, I think I could be wrong. And, and again, I'm not even sure that this would be connected, so don't quote me. But I feel I was like really like feeling someone was pulling you into the depths of their problems and issues and you allowed it. And I didn't necessarily feel that you should have allowed it. So that might be carrying over for a few of you. Now your second card in your two clarifiers, Capricorn, is the hangman. Oh gosh, knocked my deck over. <sighs> Secondary, I think I said that before. Secondary Major Arcana for Pisces. Hmm. 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 In many ways, like I just said, you don't want to hang someone out to dry. It's kind of the imagery there, right? You don't want to hang someone out to dry, meaning you don't want to sell someone down the river. You don't want to throw someone under the bus, or at least that's what you feel you would be doing. If you didn't shoulder this burden, if you didn't stick with it, if you didn't endure whatever you're enduring, you feel you would be sort of abandoning someone. And that's not necessarily, that is not at all the traditional understanding of the hangman. But image wise on this card today, that's what it looks like. Literally, she hung that little man out to dry on the line next to her bloomers, right? So I don't know if that's necessarily telling you that's what you need. I don't, I don't know. But I think that's how some of you would be viewing the situation. I want to get into the traditional because I think there's something there with a traditional understanding of this card. Hold on. Mm. The hangman traditionally is about perspectives. Yeah, I'll put that down for some reason. They're like, put that down. Okay. And again, they told me to put that down. And I told you that Knight of Pentacles is like that helpful energy. That energy that says, I'll be by your side. I'm going to do it. I'm going to work with you. And they told me to put that down. Okay, so here we go. The hangman is a solo suspended energy. Meaning, you willfully put yourself in a timeout. Put yourself on the sidelines. And observe a situation. Receive in a situation. Receive information. Receive energy receive guidance, receive clarity. You do nothing traditionally in the hangman card. You're put in a stasis, a cognitive conscious stasis, meaning no action, very little communication, if any. And you sit back and just take on whatever comes your way for the purpose of enlightenment, for the purpose of clarity, for the purpose of, of, of finding a resolution to a situation. It's a very cerebral card. So, where maybe you've been being very practical with the pentacles and the wands a little bit, you've been thinking of things very logically, Capricorn. You've been trying to find practical solutions to a situation. That hangman might be indicating that the solution you seek is nothing to do with your logic, is nothing to do with practicality. It's everything to do with something spiritual, something of the higher mind, a higher perspective, a macro perspective, not a micro perspective, and definitely needing to take a step back. But that conflicts with that Knight of Pentacles, which always tries to go towards a problem or towards a goal with a plan in hand. And having confidence in the plan, having confidence that the plan will work. So that's interesting because in the very literal example of needing to go to a counseling ses session with your child, I don't know that the exact answer is to say, no, you go by yourself. I don't know if the answer is to say, no, I'm going to go belong si alongside you. I don't know what you're supposed to do in that very literal example. Uh, yeah, and they're not going to show me either because it's general and we're not clarifying anything. But 
I think your biggest draw, Capricorn, is the hangman energy because that is about new perspectives. That is about seeing a situation, seeing a problem from uh, with new eyes. Something you've never considered before, something you've never tried before, something you've never even fathomed. Or that maybe you can't fathom, but you do it anyway. That's the other thing. The hangman, traditionally, is I'm going to string myself up by my ankle from a tree willingly and other people are like why are you doing that and sometimes the hangman says i don't know why i'm doing this i'm just doing it something will come to me some clarity will come to me some insight will come to me and being willfully suspended in a state of i don't know so the clearest way i could maybe translate that into practical action is to take a step back and kind of you know let the cards fall where they may so to speak but I could be totally wrong. If you need clarification, get a personal. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. That's where we're going to end this. Uh, Earth signs. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you found some insight here, some, some resonance here. If you did, there's a like button down below. There is a comment section. You can leave me comments on how this resonated for you. You can share this video across your social media platforms. And of course, guys, if you have not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe so you can stay up to date on everything that I upload. Uh, Earth signs. I will be back soon doing your individual readings for the month of October. Uh, what season are we in? We're in Libra season, so there's no message there for you. <laughs> in terms of like birthday messages, I have something to tell Libra in the next video. But anyway, uh, so Earth Signs, if, uh, yeah, make sure you're subscribed so you can see when I upload those videos. And again, I thank you guys so, so much for watching today. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Bye.